City Highway Drive and no traffic. Welcome back. Okay. So, in this particular video for the photo series, Forza Horizon 5, well, we're going to check out Cash Lambo's uh, City Drive. So what we have promised in the description of this is some stop-offs along the way. So we're going to stop here first of all, because uh, I'm curious to see what the tree line can look like. Because I love a good tree line. So can we get any fantastic angle in on that? So you can definitely tell that's a nighttime scenario, but that definitely helps it out quite a bit. Something like that. That works for a quick shot. Um, now the first building we're going to encounter here is going to be the petrol stop off. Now whether it be something where you just want to have it with a truck with tyres just coming out the back end of it, you could do something like that. That is for sure. Uh, let's go ahead and See what the best lighting will look like for it. Saturation probably. So all the, the neons in this area. You know, something like that you might be able to get away with. Obviously the, you could spend a bit more time and uh, after shop as well you could do Lightroom, uh, photos, uh, Photoshop use other filters uh, I use Nvidia a little bit afterwards as well but that's all good each to their own this particular one has two little box areas so like this so if you are after something that is more of a um, nighttime just lit up area you've got this format as well that can work as well. Zoom in close, get a pretty good decent shot like that. Petrol station shots, uh, by now most people probably have seen petrol station pump shots, there's a lot of varying scenarios out there. but. In case you haven't, what we're looking at here, they are really good. There's some really great designs out here. This one is quite a good design. Let's just line it up. That looks great. So you got your Bowser. And yeah, basically, same sort of deal. Car with a petrol pump. Now, again, it comes down to whatever angle you want, whatever filter you want. Um, but not too bad, not too bad at all. Pretty petrol today by the looks, but no diesel. We've got some solar panels in here as well. Does that work well for a... And you worked a... There is a soccer pitch of sorts in the middle. So you could always, although I think the nighttime element's going to be problematic for it. Oh, they look like they're filthy, those panels. But um, yeah, something like this. We'll, we'll see if we can get enough light to get a decent shot just with the in-game filter. something of that description there we go it's better definitely the lighting back there isn't as as tops but do you know what 
whilst it's not as great for highlighting all the car, it highlights other elements like the panelling. So I think that works out well. It, it just depends on what you're seeking in the photo. Now, almost missed that. Now this particular one here, I've seen these uh, this format in um, a map before. That says. Nothing to see here. So we have a little structure here in which you can get quite a unique little shot in that format. Now it depends on the angle you want. I reckon if we pulled it up a bit more forward, we may get a better a better shot out of it. I feel that we were sitting a bit too far back before. Then we can come along with something like this. And I'm not entirely happy with the color saturation working there. Let's, can we get, natural's gonna be too dull. Will macro give us, it's a long shot, but still a little too dull. Pause. Yeah, that will do it for us. So you can see like variations in what you can do. The lights on there, at least we can see the surrounds on them a bit more now. It's not just one big white. Um, so it depends how fussy you're going to be on the photo. I'm going to try, I like to try and get some of those details in. Obviously I've not spent as much time so I would in this video as I say normally would out of the video, but a bit just to show you what you can do to, to improve. Now you do have some aliens on the left or sci-fi's. Park up under the light here. You know, something like that. Definitely uh, another angle we can go on. And what we've also got then up here we can duck to the right. We've got some banners, so if you wanted to work around what you've got here, you could do a long shot. It really is, the ball is in your court as to what you want the photos to be. But uh, as you can see, they do throw a bit of light. So that could also be something that may um, intrigue. But I think something like that definitely is a, a good throw. Now the question is, can we double back through here, which I'm hoping is doable. It might be, but uh, we will soon find out. Doesn't look like it is. Okay. But that is all good. We can double back. And what we'll go ahead and do is just quickly duck out this area here. 
Excellent. So, that's all fine. Now this building, definitely uh, really nice. This one has neons all over it. God knows how the people actually live in there with all that light, but uh, for a very bluish shot, yes, you can do it. Um, let's see, natural. Something along that line there. It uh, definitely the neons I think give the most difficult challenge because they're so bright. Now this one here I do love the color spectrum you get in here. The color spectrum the roofing throws off is so nice. So trying to get a shot in here, I'm hoping I can get something. That's the shot there. Could even be something as simple as this. Like coming towards you sort of using the headlight uh, big white spot on the road just as a uh, an art piece or a focal point as well. Alright. Keep on tearing down here. So hopefully you're enjoying this so far. Okay, now this particular little tunnel is quite neat because you'll notice each top light is a different color pink green blue intentionally done to cycle through on it definitely uh really cool now what does a rear view back look And what's going to be better, left or right? You know, I think that's going to work well there. Definitely enjoying this BRZ uh, Subi. I love the actual, uh, it's like a retro type uh, glare from these lights. Now you have uh, the neon arrows up here. Not too sure if some people like them for photos, some people hate them, but just for the interest of uh, if you do like them, this is sort of the shot you'd be getting with them. The green actually really throws well with it. Uh, I'm actually surprised at that. I didn't think of that when I was uh, hitting the button. But that actually um, does have some good merit to the color matching. Something like that, I reckon. Like that. And that way we get the carbon. Perfect. And then we head back across the map. So that, as a general, is going to be what the map looks like. You'll see on the left and right the neon buildings, not much has changed. 
You could probably do a photograph back and get either side neon with the car in between, for instance. Um, thinking out of the box. Take those signs out. It's all good. But yeah, it really just depends on what you're after. So, I reckon we will um, leave it there for this video because there isn't really much more to be had when it comes to this map. Uh, I think we've shown you all the photographic spots we ultimately can. Share codes front and rear, uh, share codes at front I should say. And hopefully you have a great and wonderful day. No worries. And thank you for watching. Gotcha.